it all started when I was little. My mama made sure me and my cousin Aaron were in church every day, except for Saturday. Every Sunday, the message was always the same. Would you turn your Bibles, please, to Galatians chapter 5, 16, please? For if you walk with God, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you are living a sinful life, you will not get into the kingdom of heaven. The Bible tells us in Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, that if you are having sex and you are not married, you're a sinful person. If you have sex hey, with sense. someone who is not your husband or your wife, you're a sinner. But you see, the price you pay for choosing to commit your sins is death. You believe that? The eyes are the windows to the soul. They tell you what's going on inside of a person. And what can you tell about his eyes from way over here, Aaron? I can tell that he is sexy as hell. That may be, but I think he's looking at me, Aaron, not you. Girl, please! You wouldn't even know what to do with that. What, girl? I could have him as my man if I wanted to. No way, you are way too religious. And remember, you are still a virgin. What does that have to do with anything? Really, nothing. You remember when we were little kids? Yes. We would spend long hours in church and the pastor would preach about how sex is forbidden if you weren't married. Yeah. Well, I think you were the only one that was listening. Cause as soon as I got old enough, I'm talking about Mark, uh, so Ooh. what, girl? Look, I'm not John. going to hell, okay? I do not want my soul to go to hell. hell. You going to hell, yes. Well, I guess my soul is lost too, right? I'm just saying, I don't want to go to hell. But for real, Nina, so, on the real, on the real, all this hell junk is an illusion. No. We are grown ups, and sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide: Are you gonna be a devil, or are you gonna be an angel? And that one right there. He ain't looking for no angel. Girl, get out of here. Ew. You nasty. Hi. <laughs> I'm Nina. What's your Come name? Come on, girl. We got to go. Call me, OK? Oh, that's my song. Oh, tell me, what's it going to be? Dance with me. Oh, me. Oh, me. 
you spend some time Tell me what's on your mind yeah. Leave all your worries and cares behind Who won't you tell me Who is it gonna be Do you wanna get to know about me Oh, we can spend some time Tell me what's on my mind yeah. And do the things to me and you like yeah. Your soul belongs to me now What you doing? I'm trying to go to sleep you in here. You know what? You really need to get a job. You've been here for a month now. I pay all the bills around here. You know what? I'm sick of this. Who are you talking to? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if this is what you want, I'm not going to jail for you. For your job. When he was near, I was afraid of him. When he was far, I went looking for him. I'd only known him for a month, but it felt like I couldn't live without him. I searched everywhere I thought he'd be and talked to everyone that knew him. My cousin Aaron was right. I needed him. And I swear, I'd sell my soul to find him. I haven't been to church since the day I met him. I can hear my mama's words now. She always said, while I'm out there sinning, don't forget about God. Like any good parent, God warns us, uh, his children, that fornication is a sin. And there are great consequences. Not only do you risk spreading disease to the body, but you also give an open invitation for the soul to be attacked. The devil has totally manipulated God's process. You see, God designed sex for marriage. Is there anyone here designed prayer at this time? Won't you please come down? Come now, repent of your sins. It is not that hard. You see, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Even I myself. Please, won't you come? Mm. Evil is all around you. Evil is trying to possess your soul. Come, let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise your name and we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Nina, I have not seen you in a while. I'd like to see you again. Will you be coming more often? Yes, I plan on it. I live really close now. I just moved in with a guy I've been dating. You have got to get out of that apartment. You leave him, Nina. Flee from evil. You 
Bless your soul, bless your soul, it's mine. You see? It's in me now. It seems to control me. Does it possess me? Or do I? Possess it. it. <laughs> Got to get on to my wife, my kids, get my kids off to Sunday school. You all right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> when I look into your eyes, I can kill the one, kill the one, kill the one. This is for the hop and bother. Holler at me if you hop and bother. Let's go. This is for the hop.